This man is a thief and a good old doctor. And I don't want his name to be mentioned. In academics, uh, he, there is a he's very not academic. He is nothing. In academic world, we do not do ad hominem arguments. We do not debate the matter. Listen, we debate listen, the matter. Yes, the matter is debated really and it's closed. No, it's not. It is debated no, closed. It's closed in Chicago by all of the rumor by everyone. Then you don't want to hear anything about it. Exactly, I don't want to hear anything. Shame on you. It's connected. No, please, it's don't say it's directly. Don't say this word to me. It's a shame on you, not on me. To have a open discussion of the matter. Don't talk to me. Please, go away from me. Shame on you. Why? Why do you say shame on me? Why? I don't want to hear this. This man did bad things. I don't want to hear his name. This man. And I am going to call. I I want to hear this man not to enter this country at all because he's a cop. Not by our business. Really, we should get Please, I don't want to repeat. Please, let me ask just to repeat. So, basically, it's a. Why someone talk about a deal of someone else? Why? Why are you talking about a deal that has been closed? Why have to open this deal again? The deal is not closed. It is closed. No, it's not. Everywhere. And I don't know why you talk about it. It's not. It's his fucking thing. Why do you talk about it? It's you not. have to present your work here. No, to present it here. It is not closed. Sir. Okay, I closed it. And I am all that had to call it closed. It. I am presenting my own thing. Okay, I'm not going to attend this. Sir. I have I'm written your report, Mr. Bob. I'm not going to attend this. Even before a word is exchanged, one image, and Mr. Abbas leaves the room. Shame. I'm here. I'm willing to debate. I, I do believe this is a great shame for Egyptology. Well, I'm sorry, Bavar is settled to the alternative army. Yeah. We cannot have a discussion without Bobon. Uh, 
uh, I think it's relevant to consider the uh, recent discovery of a gigantic megalithic site in Turkey dated to 11,600 years ago, and to wonder whether we should raise questions over the things again. I do think that what has been said is right. It has nothing to do with anything. In my opinion, we know the nature of the state. What has been found in Turkey, I don't think, and I don't know if this is true or not. I have the other hand of it. Make a copy here. Um, the Turkey, East, yeah. Eastern Turkey, actually. Um, if you look at the um, traditional days for ancient Egypt, and compare it to the to Turkey, which dates actually from the late 11th million BC through the 10th million BC. Uh, these are two civilizations, worlds apart. And I wouldn't call it a civilization in the case of the Tepe, because civilization is characterized by several um, features like high culture, religion, etc. So we know about the Tepe is that those people living 7,000 years before ancient Egyptian civilizations came into being created these circular say temples or sacred places that the monoliths are three to four meters high. So no matter the radar showed anything? Because I don't believe in radar. I have been using radar all my work. It never made any discovery. Well I'm afraid the radar does show and you're discrediting the German archaeological institute and Professor Klaus Schmidt, who sadly passed away a few months ago, a very sincere and decent, hard-working man uh, who has published his findings on which are not in dispute. The Mecca is 11,600 years old. It is a giant megalithic site. It isn't very far from Egypt. It is a relevant context, in my view. At least it should cause us to have some curiosity about some of the sites in Egypt. If I can take a stand as an, um, a person independent of these two respected gentlemen, in my opinion, Quebec is a bad and uh, Sphinx or Old King of Egypt uh, can't be compared. They are separated by millennia of history. It's different type of architecture, it's different type of culture, my opinion. And of course, we can't uh, expand on this topic as far as this moment, because most of us, most of you, are not familiar with the issues, but take some time in the evening, look it up on Google, and you will see if there are common points, common characteristics in between these two places. And I leave it open to your judgment. The argument uh, about the Sphinx made by Dr. Mark Lehner some years ago uh, was that the Sphinx couldn't possibly be 12,000 years old because there was no other site, no other megalithic site anywhere in the world which was anywhere in the range of 12,000 years old. Uh, when we have a major discovery conducted by a respected archaeological institute in Turkey of a major megalithic site, which is 11,600 years old, I believe it vitiates that argument against an absence of context for the Styx, which is also uh, a megalithic monument. By the way, I have no argument with Dr. Hadras over the dating of the pyramids. Uh, it's the megalithic sites here at Giza that are of interest to me. Okay, thank you.